Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna do a quick how-to on physics materials. So, everybody knows that the physics in Unreal is very good and is undeniably pretty cool, but sometimes it doesn't do exactly what we want. And um, so yeah, so I've got this little scene set up here and it's pretty cool. The block drops, the ball drops. This one just kind of sits here, but uh, I think it'd be cooler if that slid down and if that ball would bounce a little bit more than it does it just kind of boom and it stops so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that really quickly here so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop into the physics drop down here and create a physics material and we're gonna go ahead and select that as the uh, as the uh, material class that we're gonna use this is the only option so we're gonna do that we're gonna call this the uh, ball well we'll do the uh, slope cube physics material and uh, like I said we want this to slide down so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and I've got some options here I'm not gonna go through any of these options today you guys can look through and play with them these are the options I'm gonna focus on so friction this is what we want uh, and I want to say uh, I don't want it to have any friction none at all I want it to just slide straight down um, and that's that's going to be the uh, zero friction um, but then we need to pay attention to the friction combined mode and we can't click this drop down until we override the combined mode and right now it's averaging and what that means is that when this object hits something with this material hits another thing it's going to take the friction of the object and then the friction of the surface that it hits and it's going to average them so if the surface friction is high on the surface that it hits it's going to stick anyways because it's averaging between zero and whatever that is and we don't want that we want it instead to take the minimum you can also do multiplication and maximum um, and they do what you would expect them to but we want the minimum we want it to be zero in this case so we're going to save this um, but now we need to get that physics material onto this cube um, but we still want it to look the same. We want it to be green. So we're going to go into this here and uh, This is the material that's applied to it and we're just going to select slope cube physics material. We're going to apply that. I'll go ahead and save and So now If it ever saves There we go when we play it should Just slide straight on down and it hits that ball, but I think now we need to fix this ball it just Right now it's just sort of dropping and just sitting there and getting hit. So let's see if we can keep the ball bouncing indefinitely. So I'm going to go ahead and create another physics material. We're going to call this, oh, I need to use this class. We're going to call this ball drop physics. All right. And this is what the restitution is for. It says here the bounciness and we want to set this all the way up and again we don't want it to use the average because the bounciness of the floor might be kind of low uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the max and we don't need to worry about friction in this case we want it to be what it is so what this is going to do is it's going to set it to the absolute uh, maximum bounciness which is that the velocity going out is the same as the velocity coming in and we're going to use that uh, the higher of the two so even if the floor is 0.1 or 0.2 or whatever it is it's going to use this full one and then again we need to apply it to the material by going into the material and saying ball drop fizz there we go and we're going to apply it and now when we play it's just going to keep bouncing and our cube goes right under it so that's great but I think it would be also pretty cool if when this cube hit this red cube here uh, the red cube just went off flying but the problem is that this red cube even though I do have on the red cube uh, physics is simulated it's just it's not going anywhere because it's so big and the friction is so high so we're gonna create a third one here physics material and we're gonna call this uh, class choose and we're gonna call this um, big cube fizz all right and we're going to come in here and the first thing we want to do is we're going to set the friction to low we're going to set the combined mode to min so we've already seen that we don't need to do anything with the restitution but what we are going to do is we're going to take the density way down to like 0 0.01 that's really low it's a hundred uh, i don't know what it was before it was one so this is a hundredth of what it was before and the density is going to say hey okay 
uh, the size, the way that the size of the object automatically calculates the mass. We want to do that uh, same calculation, but instead of doing it at a scale of 1, we want to do it at a scale of 0.01. So it's going to be much less dense. It's going to be like styrofoam or something like that. And then again, we need to come in here and we need to set this to big cube fizz and apply the material. Now you can also manually go in and select the mass in kilograms you want. But this is a good way if you want everything with a certain material on it to act like styrofoam, then you can set the density of that material and it's going to give you the effect that you want. So now, hopefully, if I did everything right, the cube's gonna go under the ball, hit that, and off it goes. Look at that. Now, of course, you can mess with all these. Maybe that friction's just too low, it's just gonna slide off. So you can always go in and adjust these and it will automatically update. But that's the basics of physics materials um, and what all of the options in this physics material panel do. I hope that was helpful, and I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, I'll see you next time.